Hi guys, welcome back, DSC Online crew. Welcome back to your workout. Coach Matt joined by Coach Connor. As always, you're gonna need some space. You're gonna need your exercise band, that elevated surface. If you've been doing things like mountain climbers, push-ups, burpees, uh, and galore off your elevated surface. Just keep in mind our goal over the course of this program is to get that bad boy closer to the floor so we're feeling good. Maybe try some of the floor exercises today, as long as there's no discomfort. But just challenge yourself to try to get a little bit better than your previous workout. All right, let's start with our warm up. We're gonna get moving right away. We're gonna get right into jumping jacks for 25 seconds. So version one, our higher impact version, staying light on our feet, hands over head, or you can go with your side steps. All right, we're off the clock, so everyone, let's get going. Three, two, one, and jumping jack. So again, this is just our warm up here. So pace yourself into these movements, continue to breathe through them. We're gonna be moving with a quicker pace through this warm up. It's gonna be good. 25 seconds, about halfway home, guys. Again, you can also go back to those side steps if you need to. Continue to breathe through, let's get moving. Five seconds. Very good. Okay, arms are moving. We're going up overhead in reverse. Nice big arm circles. Pinch those shoulder blades together. Stay as tall as you can. Squeeze those blades. Posture up as tall as you can. Keep that motion as big as you can. Let's reverse that. Let's go forward. Any shoulder discomfort, just don't go quite as high. In the back, think about squeezing those shoulder blades together. And then exhale as we come overhead. All right, our next drill is a little different shoulder drill we haven't done before. It's called the Egyptian. So we're gonna go arms out. Palms are going to be facing up. What Connor's going to start with is he's going to take his right shoulder, he's going to turn it down. As he exhales, the left palm spins up and his eyes follow the palm that's up. He's keeping a nice straight line through his hands. And then he's going to come the other way. Think about leading with the left shoulder down. Eyes follow the palm that's up. Shoulder comes forward towards you. And then we're going to reverse. Right shoulder down, eyes follow. Good, so from home, let's get into it. Left shoulder goes down. Right palm comes up, nice big exhale, staying tall. Flip the other way, right shoulder down, exhale. Very good, let's go last one here. Exhale, left shoulder down, right palm up, eyes follow, reach long. Okay, hands up over your head as high as you can. Your thumbs are being pulled to the ceiling. We're gonna do nice, small, controlled circles, and we're moving through our shoulders. So nothing should be moving. My chest doesn't move, my elbows aren't moved, they're locked out straight, I'm reaching as long as I can. Again, trying to get those thumbs to the ceiling. Nice big circles in one direction. Continue to breathe through, the head stays still. Nice work, Connor, we're in reverse direction. So whatever way you're going, you're going the opposite way now. Keep reaching as high as you can. Keep those elbows locked out nice and straight. Very good. And we're back to our jumping jacks. Three, two, one, begin. Very good. So again, a couple options here. Quicker, higher impact, or go with your side step. Whichever version though, now we're a little bit quicker, right? Getting a little sweat on here. 25 seconds, let's be moving quick. Continue to control that exhale, don't hold your breath. Let's go, that was a good little circuit. We got two circuits today, 40, 20, you're gonna love. Good, let's move to the lower body now. We're gonna go knee hug on the right. So you gotta posture up tall, grab the front of that knee, pull up nice and tall. From there, we're going to step back in reverse lunge. Connor's going to go all the way down, touch that knee, and then push up to the front foot. So again, we're going to grab our right knee, posture up tall, big pull, stride back, stay tall, and then push up to the front foot to stand. So that's two. We're just going to go three on each side. I don't care how low you go into your lunge. So if it's just a controlled step back, that's fine. Switch to the left side. Knee up, toe up, big pull, reverse lunge, three per side. Very good. Last one here. Awesome, feet together, we're gonna go a little lateral hip. So we're gonna posture up tall, both legs are straight. Right leg is gonna come out towards me, Connor. Reaching to the outside edge of his foot, he's gonna pause there. What I want you to notice is his leg is locked out straight. He's reaching to the outside edge of his foot and he's getting as tall as he can. So he's thinking about pushing down through his left foot and getting his head through the roof. Comes back together. I don't care how high you go, you go out as far as you can when you're keeping your leg straight and you're balancing a glass of water on your head. So we're gonna, we're gonna stay on that right side. Right leg out to the side, we're gonna pause. Get your head taller, reach your head from the ceiling, and then come back together. Good, come back up, reach. Give you a nice controlled exhale. Good, come back in. Let's hit two more on the right. You should try to feel the outside of that hip working a little bit here. Getting those hips strengthened and loosened up. 
Good, let's go again. Pause there, both legs straight. Straight that, that knee, Connor. Oh boy. Posture up and switch sides. We're gonna move down to the left leg, gonna reach out to the side. So picture your body is between two panes of glass, front and back. So when I reach my leg out, I gotta stay between the glass. I'm not going forward, I'm not going behind. Straight out to the side. All right, left side. Out and hold. Push through the right foot, get taller. And then come back together. Left foot again. Staying as upright as you possibly can. Reaching for height to the top of your head. Come back in. Again, your motion size doesn't matter. It's gonna vary depending on your balance. The higher your leg goes, the harder it's gonna be able to, to control. If you need to stay just a few inches off the floor for now, that's completely fine. Good, last one here. Left leg out to the side, posture up. Beautiful. All right, jumping jacks. Three, two, one, let's go. Moving quick now. Got a great pace going, whether you're going with the regular jack, whether you're going with those side steps, we're gonna increase the pace, moving a little bit quicker. Faster feet right here, let's go. 10 seconds in, you got 25 seconds here. Quick, 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 quick. Good job, move. Five seconds, guys, stay strong. Very good. All right, we're gonna practice our sit-through. We got a little sit-through in our warm-up here, or our workout. Connie, you don't face the side here. So we got a couple options here. We're gonna start with a bear crawl. So if you want to get down the floor, we can also go off our bench. Just kind of hang tight, watch a few reps, and then we can get into it. What Connor's gonna do from here is he's gonna take his right leg and he's gonna slide it underneath towards the camera. His toe is up. Now, if he was on a clock, okay, his body was a clock, we want this leg, come up a little bit higher, Connor, at three o'clock or nine o'clock. Then he's gonna swing back through, and then he's gonna come to three o'clock. Boom, reaches through, comes back together. So he's just going to his right hand, right leg through. Nine o'clock, three o'clock. Staying nice and low, finishing with his, you can do a little butt tap to the floor. If you're off your bench, looks like this. What we're not gonna do is we're not gonna hit the twist. We're gonna get into that bear crawl position we're gonna do nice controlled elbow touches. So nice and slow. All right, we're gonna go for 25 seconds, so choose your version. Sit-throughs or our elbow touches. Hit that sit-through, remember, right leg underneath, the right hand stays down. Three o'clock, nine o'clock. And go, nice exhale underneath, boom. Tap that butt cheek to the floor, reach that leg long, make sure your toe is pointed up towards the ceiling when that hip hits the ground. Three o'clock with the foot, Nine o'clock, so moving in that nice straight line across your body. Stay as low as you can, exhale underneath. Otherwise, elbow touches, keep cruising. Let's go. 10 seconds, guys, come on. Good, swing that leg underneath. Drop your butt to the floor. Leg at three o'clock, leg at nine o'clock. Three, two, one. Good, Connor's gonna stay down, he's gonna get a push-up position. We're gonna go five nice slow controlled push-ups. Top position looks like this. Boom, knees looks like this. Tuck the hips under, lean forward, or go off your surface. So wherever you want to be, get down, hit five controlled reps. Three, two, one, begin. Good, nice pause at the top. Drop in slow. Exhale at the top, drop in slow. A little pause at the bottom, just five total. Good job. We're getting loose now. Okay guys, 25 seconds of jumping jacks and that will conclude our warm up. Three, two, one, begin. Here we go. This should be our fastest round of our jumping jack or our side step. Get it moving, guys. We want to finish strong. Get that heart rate up. Get our breathing up a little bit. Get our core temperature up. Connor, you get loose? Get loose. He's, get, he's ready to go. Good job, guys. 10 seconds. Come on. Quick, quick, quick. Finish strong. Good pace right here. Double time. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. One, grab a drink, come on back. Okay guys, welcome back. As promised, our 40-20, 40, 40 seconds of work through each exercise. Try to hang in as long as you can, get as many reps in as you can in that 40 seconds. 20 seconds to take a little breather before we move on to the next drill. Each circuit's gonna be four exercises, which will hit for three rounds. So let's quickly go through circuit one, get you guys dialed in with your exercise, your technique get into it. So first up is our knee tuck push up, a pretty challenging push up variation. So what you're going to do is you go with the knee tuck, so the knees tuck in underneath your hips, then they kick out. As your legs go out, you drop right into your push up so it's one motion. Knee tuck, push up. Staying low. Knee tuck, push up. 
Option two, right? We're still working on those push-ups. You can hit the knee tuck in and out, and then drop to your knees, hit that push-up. Go back up, knee tuck, drop to your knees, hit your push-up. Looks pretty good. Option number three, off your surface, we can still do the same movement. The car is gonna knee tuck in, hop back, and then hit his push-up. Boom, hop in, hop back, hit his push-up. All right, so those are your options. Keep in mind it's 40 seconds worth, so pace yourself through. Exercise two is our lateral bound. We're gonna start in a nice low athletic position. Left foot is down, right arm is out, chest is tall. He's gonna push through his left foot. Think about there's a little mini hurdle between your feet here. He's gonna think about popping up and over. So it's not about it reaching with the inside leg, it's the down leg pushing you side to side. As many reps as we can get in, 40 seconds. Option two, let's go to our, our little lateral strides here. So we're gonna go feet nice and wide, do a lateral squat, hands reach, chest stays tall. Same movement side to side, but just takes a little bit of stress off our ankles, off our knees, if we're dealing with any discomfort there. Quick side to side reps, go as low as you can, feeling pretty good. Exercise three is our bent over row. So step into your band, you got a couple options here. We're gonna grab the handles, stand up tall first. Carter's gonna slide his hips back. His nose leans over his toes. He's got a little bend in his knees. And notice how he's lifting that chest nice and proud. Hold that nice low back position, nice and upright. He's gonna pull the elbows straight back behind him and squeeze the shoulder blades together. So if you picture my fingers are between your shoulder blades, I want you to squeeze Squeeze my finger with your shoulder blades, keep that chest nice and tall. Option two is just to, instead of going with that double band, we go with the single band. So it takes a little bit of uh, tension off the band, makes it a little bit easier to pull. Same position, same setup. Those thumbs are pointed down, palms are facing in. And I pull the elbows back as that chest stays nice and tall. Feel the work coming through that upper back, those posture muscles. Our last exercise is our heel ups. Trying to lay on down. Legs are gonna start up in the air. Feet are together, legs are straight. Hands are by his side. What he's gonna do is he's gonna think about using his abs to take his lower back off the floor and then uncurl. So think about getting your heels as high as you can towards the ceiling, lifting your low back and then a nice controlled descent, not letting your legs fall too far forward. If that's aggressive for you, you can also just keep the motion a little bit smaller and just come up a few inches. If you're having trouble getting there, you're feeling your low back at all, we'll go with a dead bug, which looks like this. Legs are straight, hands don't move, low back is pressing into the floor, one leg reaches out as far as you can. The goal here is to keep your low back pressed into the floor nice and slow. Keep those abs tight like you're holding that summer crunch. All right, so we're gonna go through three rounds. Those are our four exercises. We're gonna start from the top. Our knee tuck push-up. So tuck in with the knees, kick out, and then hit your push-up. Regular from the knees or off the bench. Three, two, one, begin. Make sure we got quality reps here, team. Make sure those elbows are pointed back. Control yourself, kick in. As those feet kick out, think about dropping right into your push up, keeping yourself leaning forward. Keep your head out over your hands. You're in, out, and push up. Good job, Connor. Connor's cruising through. So, again, if you start fatiguing through, don't break. Hold yourself in that top position. You can also do your push-ups from your knees. Kick in, kick out, drop on down. 10 seconds, let's go. Connor's still knees, come on guys. Stay with him, hold that pace. A couple more reps, five seconds. Let's go one more. In, out, push-up. Oh, I like those. How's that going? Brutal. <laughs> Connor was asking before we started, what's a knee tuck push-up? I said, Connor, you're gonna love them. All right, 10 seconds, we're into our lateral bounds, side to side, or get up wide, nice control lateral squat. Five, four, three, two, let's go. Push, push, the car's getting a little height and distance. Whatever leg is on the floor, he's pushing, that's his working leg, he's pushing through that foot to get height and distance. It's not about reaching with the inside leg. My lateral squats, nice quick pace, keep your toes straight ahead, and then sit side to side as you lean forward, halfway home. Every time Connor pushes through his foot, he's matching his rep with his exhale. That opposite hand comes out, nice controlled, soft landing, not bouncing around. Five seconds here, guys. Push, push, push. Well done, and break. All right, now we bring our heart rate down, grab your band. We can double up and grab those handles. 
We can go single band, whatever you choose. You've been doing that single band, maybe try the double band handle, see if you can handle it. We've been getting pretty strong here. Five seconds, let's set up. So band, right between those arches of your feet, feet hip width, stand your band up first, lean in and begin. Chest stays nice and proud. Elbows are pulling straight back behind you. Think about keeping that chest lifted, right? We don't want any rounded shoulders forward. We want to think about lifting that chest up away from the floor and stay nice and tall. Match your pull back with your exhale. As the elbows pull back straight back behind you, you let out a nice big exhale out through your mouth, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Good. I know you're getting tired, guys. Don't lose your posture. Fight for that nice tall upright position. Five seconds. Building strength. Come on, Connor. Well done, and rest. Okay, we're on the floor, heel ups. So, when we set up here, laying down on the ground, hands by your side, you have a couple options. You can get your tailbone as high as you can and control down, or we go with those nice controlled dead bugs. Dead bugs, those hands stay up, one leg at a time. Three, two, one, begin. Connor's going to heel up, hands are by his side. He's using his abs to pull himself up, trying to reach his heels straight up towards the ceiling. And then it's a control down, right? So a little slower heart rate drill and you'll feel some ab strength. Exhale, and then uncurl. Take your time. Think about moving on the way down, vertebrae by vertebrae. Don't just fall out of it. Use your abs to control yourself down. When Connor reaches through his heels, he's doing a little stomach crunch. Feel those abs tighten at the top. Feel them working. 10 seconds. Let's go. Come on. Good, guys. Five seconds. Four. A few more reps. Three. Two, and rest. All right, flip it over. Connor's favorite, the knee tuck push-up. We're gonna be talking about this one for days. 10 seconds. So again, a couple options. Top position, kick in, kick out, hit your push-up, also go from the knees, or get to your elevated surface. 40 seconds worth, so don't come out of the gate too hot. Take yourself. Two, one, begin. In, out, control your push-up. In, out, control your push-up. Good guys, so again, we're trying to build strength, so don't be in a rush here. A really nice quality controlled reps, and ones that are too fast, and then we start getting sloppy. Halfway home, let's go. Good, Connor's got a great pace. He's in, out, push up. He's in, out, push up. Try to stay with him, guys. 10 seconds, Connor, right back, let's go. In, out, push up. Couple more, let's go. Fight it, boy. Five seconds, let's go. Woo -wee. I love these. And rest. Oh, what do you think of those? Those oh, suck. You've never done those? Not in a while. Not in a while. It's been a while for Connor. All right, to our lateral bounds. We can get some real height and distance if we start feeling good. You can also keep your motion a little bit smaller. It takes a little pressure off the ankles and knees. Or again, split out wide. Two, one, begin. Push, push, push. Connor is picturing his body as a big rainbow. Up, in, he's over. He's not just moving side to side, right? He's not just jumping straight up in the air. He's up and over that imaginary hurdle. As he lands, he sits into it. Feel that butt working. Lands flat footed. He's landing quiet. He's not a big stomp. Absorb your force side to side. If you need to shorten it up, you're feeling good. Let's get a little bigger rainbow going. Exhale, push, push. Keep that same pace going, guys. Five seconds. Four, three, two, rest. Good job. All right, we're back to our bands. Band rows, round two, let's go. If we're feeling this through our shoulder blades, through our upper back, perfect, you're doing this correctly. If you're feeling your low back, let's try to be a little bit more in an upright position. Don't let yourself get into this rounded position here. All right, five. Four, three, two, begin. Step on in and row. Stand your band up, slide your hips back. Elbows pull straight back behind you, chest stays lifted. Picture your body from your tailbone to the top of your head as a statue. It's not moving, you're strong as steel. Stay up a little bit taller, fight for that chest position. If I'm standing in front of you, I wanna see the logo on your shirt. So lift your chest a little bit taller, guys. Come on, 10 seconds. Exhale, pull. Exhale, pull. Good. Come on. Two more reps. Last rep from home. Rest. Good job. 
Okay, end of round two, we're down to our heel ups. We're gonna hit the deck. If that didn't work for you, come on, let's show the dead bug real quick. Palms facing each other, reach to your fingertips one leg at a time. Focus on that low back being nice and flat. Or go heel ups. All right, guys, three, two, one, let's go. Connor's going heel up, hands are pressing into the floor, using his abs to lift his feet as high as he can, he's keeping his legs straight. When he gets to the top, he's gonna flex his abs, like a little stomach crunch. We'll make sure they're working double time. Do that, Connor? Big time. Let's go. Good guys, halfway home. He flexes his abs at the top, and then he uncurls very controlled, using his abs on the way down, don't just fall out. Flex them, tighten them up, stomach crunch at the top. Five seconds, a couple more reps in. And rest. Hey, heck of a job. End of round two, let's move to our last round. Back to our knee tuck push-ups. This is gonna be the most challenging exercise of this list. So let's really dial it in, eight seconds. We're gonna fight through those 40 seconds. Try not to break. Can you just hold the top of your plank, do so. Three, two, one, begin. In, out, push-up. In, out, push-up. Hold that pace. In, out, push-up. Let's go. I don't care how low you go into your push-up. Keep those elbows pointed back. Nice, fine position. Don't get saggy. Come on, guys. Fight through this. No breaks here. If you need to, drop to your knees on your push-up. That can keep us moving. Let's go. 15 seconds. Push. From home, we got to go, guys. Come on. We got this. 10 seconds. Fighting, fighting. Come on, come on. Five seconds, come on, bud. Move it. Another one. And rest. Hey, heck of a job. Up on our feet, lateral bound or lateral squat. Hey, well done. Woo! See that does the workouts here? I think so. <laughs> I think the members would love them. Five seconds, lateral bound, chest tall, nice athletic position. Two, one, begin. Push, push. So Carter's thinking about, he's almost floating through the air. He's posing for a picture in the air, trying to kind of hold that hang time through his movement. Push, nice and controlled, landing nice and soft. If you need to, shorten that up. If you need to, hit that lateral squat. Boom, boom, side to side, halfway. Chest stays tall. As soon as that foot lands, he's sitting into it. Nice, one smooth motion in. Push through the foot, get out. Good, a little rainbow, feeling good. Let's extend our rainbow, get a little higher. Come on, Connor, push. Give me a little more, a little more. Last one. Well done, grab your band. Woo, feel your legs there? Yes, yes. Good circuit right here, team, looks great. 10 seconds, we're in. Get yourself set up, grab your handles, grab your single band, whatever you're feeling. Again, fighting for that upright posture. Three, two, one, stand your band up and begin. Push your butt back, tailbone high, chest stays proud. Let's go. Good, hands should finish right outside your knees. Make sure your knees are bent, make sure your chest is tall. Eyes are looking straight down or slightly out in front of you, about five feet. Shouldn't have our head cranked back up way up in the air, just put stress on our neck. Keep those elbows pointing back, keep your chest tall. Let's go guys, 10 seconds of work right here, push it. Push it. Elbows pull back. Again, picture me between your shoulder blades. Squeeze my fingers. And right, good. Bands down. Bands are done for this circuit. Pull them to this side. Last exercise, guys, moving to our heel ups. Little ab work. Finish circuit one. Great job. 10 seconds. So guys, hit the deck. Hands by your side. Give me some real height if you can. Keep it small or move to that dead bug. Whichever version works for you. Breathe. Two, one, here we go. Good, Connor. So legs are straight, his toes are pulled back towards his nose. Lift your tailbone up. Think about driving your heels straight up to the ceiling. Flex your abs at the top. Feel them working, come on. Let's get those six packs going. Crunch hard, and then slowly uncurl. Good, all the way up, control yourself down. We've got about 15 seconds of work here. Make it count right here. We're tired, we gotta push through. This is where we make the gains easy. Come on. Eight seconds. Finish strong. Heels up, control down. Right back up. Heels up, control yourself down. Last rep and break. Circuit one is complete. Carter smoked. 
That to me knows a good one. Grab yourself a drink, take as much time as you need. Come on back, circuit two. Great job, guys. Welcome back to circuit two. Same format. 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. Our four exercises will take us through three rounds. Let's talk about our exercises. Something new, or something we haven't done in quite a while, will be our banded squats of press. So option one, you can step into your band, the single band there, and then Connor's gonna grab the band. His palms are facing forward, he's got his hand just about shoulder height, so his elbows are tucked down by his side. He's in his squat stance, so toes are pointed out, chest is tall. He's gonna squat, and then use his legs to drive that band up overhead. He's gonna come up as quick as he can. Squat, punch, squat, punch keeping his chest nice and upright. The higher he reaches, the more tension is gonna be on his band. So you've really gotta have to work hard at the top. So you can even cut the motion a little bit shorter if you need to, or a couple options here, just keep the band at shoulder height, keep the chest tall, and now it just becomes a, more of a leg exercise than a leg and an upper body exercise. So a couple options there. If you're not feeling the band at all, step out of the band and just go with our regular old body weight squat. Boom. All right, whatever version works for you. If you want to challenge a little bit, add the band. Exercise two will be our sit-throughs, just like our warm-up drill. Bear crawl position. Right leg swings underneath, Connor pause there. He's on his right hand, his leg is out at nine o'clock, toe is up. He's gonna come back to his bear crawl position, swings underneath, left leg through, left hand. Right leg, right hand, left hand down, left leg. Toe points up, he drops his butt cheek to the floor. Tap the butt, boom, tap the butt. Okay. Option two is off our surface here. Oh, we can go to the ground. Let's stay there, Connor. We can go to our bear crawl elbow taps. A nice and low position. Control, press through the hand. Keep the spine still. Keep your knees nice and low. Or you can do the same thing off your surface here. Off that couch, off that chair, knees bent. Boom, boom. The higher the, the surface is that your hands are on, the easier it's going to make it. So you want to challenge yourself a little bit. Drop the height whatever your hands are on. Exercise number three is our step through lunges. It's a forward and back. So if you notice Connor's just moving through his left leg, it's a big stride forward, tap the knee, big stride back, tap the knee. If you want to, keep this a little bit smaller. Don't go quite as low, boom, boom. So you can just go about halfway down. Don't meet in the middle. Try to make it one motion forward and back. We're gonna get as many reps as we can in 20 seconds and I'm gonna say switch and then we start moving through the right leg. So the first round, we'll go left leg, Boom, boom, we'll start with 20 seconds. I'll say switch, start moving with the right leg. Our last exercise is the reverse burpee. So you're gonna start tall. He's gonna bring his hands down. He's gonna walk out, hit a push-up, regular push-up or knee push-up. He's gonna walk himself back in and then big body weight jump, boom. Walk out, push-up, don't let the hips sag. Walk in, body weight jump. So a couple options here. Again, you can dial in whatever version works for you. Regular push-up. Knee push up, when you come up, if you don't want to jump, you can hit a body weight squat. If you're on your bench, let's walk our hands out to a push up position. Feet are going to be back, you're going to hit a push up. Walk your feet in, stand up, boom. All it is is a regular old burpee. We kick back, but now we're going to add our push up in. It's kind of a walking push up. Walk in, walk out, hit your push up. All right, so those are our four exercises. We're gonna start at the top with our band. Connor's gonna go band and squat to press. You can just go band and hold and squat or body weight squat. 40 seconds worth. Get yourself set up, toes are pointed out, palms are facing the camera. Three, two, one, begin. Whatever version you're doing with the band, you gotta be aggressive. You gotta come up fast and use your legs to power that band up over your head. If you're just trying to use your arms, it's gonna to be tough to get that bad boy up over your head. Try to own your top position if you can. Good job, Connor. Use your legs, buddy. Push it. Good, go up nice and quick. Power through the feet. If you start fatiguing, don't get rid of your press. And just hold it right at your shoulder height. Halfway home, come on, push it. Good, right back up. Use your legs, come up fast. Full squat, knees drive out. And then come up nice and tall. Five seconds. Boom, another one, Connor. Good job. And break. How's that? Brutal. <laughs> All right, to our sit throughs. Connor's going to hit the deck. Again, right hand stays down as the right leg swings underneath. You're going to exhale nine o'clock with the foot and then straight line across, three o'clock. Three, 
two, one, bear claw position and begin. If you're not hitting the sit through, you can also just hit that bear claw position, elbow taps, boom, boom, or you can do that off your elevated surface, your choice. Here we go. 10 seconds in. Quick, quick. Every time Connor swivels underneath, he turns his feet and he exhales as the leg kicks underneath. Reach the leg long, make sure the toe points up, tap your butt cheek to the floor. As the butt cheek taps, breathing out, boom. Boom, nice job, Connor. 10 seconds, keep that moving quick, stay as low as you can towards the floor. Knees are about an inch off the floor, tap the booty, toe is up, and rest. Good. To our step through lunges, so Connor's gonna face sideways here. We're gonna start with the left leg. So the first 20 seconds will be the left leg forward and the left leg backwards. Hit as many as you can. I'll say quickly switch and move to the right leg. Five seconds, posture tall, stride forward, stride back. Left leg moving and begin. Left leg forward, boom. Left leg back, stay as tall as you can. Keep this moving. Don't meet in the middle. I don't care how low you go, whether you're forward or back. Just stay as upright as you can. 10 seconds, come on. Tap, tap. Stay tall. Five seconds, we're gonna switch feet. Keep it moving fast. And switch. Now my right leg's moving forward and back. My stride is big. Reach long out in front of you. Reach long in the back. Stay as upright as you can. Come on. Keep that moving. Keep Connor. Let's go. Eight seconds. Good job. Five seconds. Quick forward, quick back. Good, and rest. All right, we're moving to our reverse burpee. So options here, if you're off your surface, hit that push up, walk your feet in, walk your feet out, stand on up. Otherwise, you're on the ground. Walk yourself out to that push up position, hit it from the top, hit it from the knees, walk in, and a nice big strong body weight jump. Three, two, one, begin. Walk it out, push up. Walk it in with your legs straight, bend your knees, and jump. Walk it out, good car. Push up. Walk it in. Big jump. Good. Moving quick here. Come on. Halfway home. Yes, sir. Good job, Connor. Almost done. Round one, guys. Looks great. Keep working hard. Walk it out. Push up. You can also nix the push up if you want. Just walk it right back in. The push up starts getting fatiguing. Five seconds. And rest. All right, end of round one. Great job. Well done, Connor. Oh. <laughs> Grab your band, guys. We're going to go band squat to press or our banded squat. You can hold it right above shoulder height. Step into your band. Five seconds. Toes are pointed out. Feet shoulder width. Keep your posture nice and upright. Use those legs. Three, two, one. Let's go. Squat. Push. Squat. Push. Think about your legs you're doing the work. That's gonna help you get momentum to get that band up nice and quick. Try not to just muscle it up with your arms. If the band press starts getting fatiguing, get rid of it. Just hold the band shoulder height and push through those feet to stand. Good. Bang upright, chest tall. Keep your eyes up on the screen. Keep your chest up on the screen. 10 seconds, knees drive out. Okay, if you're not using your band, that's fine. Try to get a nice low squat. Five seconds, come on. Oh, he's back to the press. One more, Connor. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> well done, you guys. Those are no joke. All right, we're moving. We got our sit-throughs here. If that was a little bit funky for you, if you're kind of getting yourself tangled up, don't worry about it. You can always come back to this exercise and practice. Just go with those elbow touches, build some core strength. Three, two, one, begin. Hands underneath you, knees are low. Kick underneath. Exhale, drop the butt cheek to the floor. Connor's reaching his leg is out as straight as he can. His toe is pointed up towards the ceiling. His belt buckle turns up towards the ceiling and he drops his butt cheek to the floor. Tap, exhale, tap, exhale. Good, halfway in, let's go. Elbow touches, stay strong, stay tight. Don't let your body move. Your spine is a steel rod, strong as steel. Lock in, 10 seconds. Come on, Connor, speed that up. Drop the hip. Switch, 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 and break. Heck yeah. All right. Step throughs. Come on, what's been the hardest one to show you? Are the knee tuck push ups or those squat to presses? <laughs> the knee tuck and the 
Stand and squat the press. All right, guys, left leg is going to be moving. Forward and back, 20 seconds. Two, one, begin. Big step. Big step. Let's go. Let's get a little better pace here. We're on round two. Got to figure out the technique now. Figure out which version, which works for you. 10 seconds in. Come on. Push it. Don't stop in the middle. Forward. Back. I don't care how well you go. Keep that posture upright. And switch feet. Now my right leg's moving. Forward. Back. Forward. Back. When I stride forward, my foot lands flat. I need nice big strides. Open it up a little bit more. Let's go. 10 seconds. Good pace, Connor. Try to match him. Bang. Bang. Let's go. Three, two, one, and rest. Hey, great job. All right, we're on to our reverse burpee. So we're going to walk out, hit that push up, walk in, body weight jump. Connor, right, show me that elevated service real quick. Hit that push up. Push up, walk it in. Big jump. Push up, walk it in. Stand up, or jump. Ready? From the floor, walk it out, hit that push up. Two, one, begin. All the way out, keep the hips tucked under. Walk it back, big jump. Good. That's good guys, reverse Murphy, I love it. Drop to your knees on your push up if you need to, or nix it. But what I want is constant movement here. Pick what pace, pick what version works for you, but don't break. Keep yourself moving. I'm either jumping, I'm either walking my hands, or I'm hitting my push up. Let's go. 10 seconds. Come on. Big jump. Good. One more rep, Connor. Last rep, guys. Finish it. Come on in. Big jump. And take a break. Woo wee. Hey, we completed round two. Last round of the day. Let's get it. Grab your band. This is Connor's favorite. He's going to do the full 40 seconds of squat and presses. He's not going to break. See what you can do. He's going to push hard here and you guys push it from home. Step in. Here we go. Three, two, one. Begin. Come on, Connor. They're watching you from home. They're seeing how hard you're working. Try to match his intensity. Let's go. He's going to stay through the full 40 seconds. He's using his legs, keeping his posture tall. Boom. Push through your feet to stand. Stay aggressive. Fight at the top. Come on. Almost there, bud. Let's go. From home, keep it moving. You're squatting and pressing, or you're squatting. Finish it. 10 seconds. Another one. E, another one. Well done. Hey, let's hear it for Connor. You can't shift your job. Great job from home, guys. All right, to our sit throughs. Last round of these bad boys, or your bear crawl, elbow taps. Sit on it, it will feel a little better with these. These are always a little challenging for our members here for the first week or so, first workout, but they will come. Two, one, begin. Bear crawl position. Knees are under your hips. Tuck your knees in a little bit closer to you so that they're directly underneath your belt buckle. Three o'clock, nine o'clock. Reach that leg as long as you can. The right hand down, right leg swings underneath. Left hand down, left leg swings underneath. Always sliding underneath. Exhale as we rotate. Drop the hips to the floor, tap the butt. As the butt taps, exhale. We got 10 seconds. Let's do turbo time right here. Quick. Quick. Good. We're not pausing. Boom. Boom. Moving quicker. Moving quicker. And break. Good job. Step throughs. I love the step through. One of my favorites. Put some good stress on those legs. All right, guys. So, so we're going to go step through, start with the left foot. Control your breathing right here. Get yourself ready to rock and roll. Three, two, one, let's go. Forward, back, forward, back. The lower you go, the more stress you might put on that knee. If you need to keep it a little higher, that's completely fine. Keep your posture tall. Connor's got a great pace going. Boom, boom. Not meeting in the middle. And switch, right leg moving. Forward and back, let's go. Chest tall. Tap the knee if you can. Come on, a little quicker now. Let's go, boom, boom. Good job. That front leg, that left leg is not moving. Keep it right where it is. Right leg, forward and back. Come on, five seconds. A little quicker. Posture upright. Keep moving through. And rest. Good job. Woo! Felt those. All right, we're moving to our reverse burpee. Walk the hands out. Hit that push-up. Walk them in. Big body weight jump. Just try to 
beat our last round. I think make this the best exercise of the day because it is the last one. Leave here on a good note with a good push. Three, two, one, begin. Walk it out. Come on, come on, push up. Walk it in, big jump, finish strong, guys. We got about 35 seconds of work to go for the rest of the day. What do you got? We're not breaking, we're staying strong throughout. Finish it. Push up. Walk in, big jump. Come on. Halfway, 20 seconds. Let's go, Connor. From home, gotta push. Come on, guys. Connor's digging deep right here. You guys dig deep. Push up. Drop to your knees if you need. Walk it in. Big jump. Again. Last rep. Go get it. And rest. Hey, heck of a job today. Well done, Connor. 40-20. Let's go. Have a great day, guys. Good push. Crush that nutrition. Crush your day. Hydrate. We'll see you soon.